and welcome to my insanity, another video, another tie-dye shirt. And I know that everyone loves them because I made them with cheap high dyes and did it myself. So for, <laughs> for today's video, I'm going to be attempting to fold a thousand paper cranes. And I know that this seems quite pointless in a way, but I assure you there is reasoning behind my consistent man. So for Christmas, my mum got a very cute Christmas ornament with a folded paper crane inside. There's a story on the back that um, I was, I guess, bittersweetly touched by, if that makes sense. The story follows a young girl who became very ill from the atomic effects of World War II. Bedridden in hospital, her determination and spirit gave life to an ancient legend that promised anyone who folded a thousand paper cranes would be granted one wish. It was her desire for hope, for good luck, long life, peace and recovery from her illness. On the 25th of October 1955, she passed away surrounded by loved ones and family. Although her thousand paper cranes didn't save her life, they would take flight in another way, serving as a symbol of the growing movement for peace on earth. It's quite a sad story because she does pass away from her illness, but I did enjoy the idea of the legend behind it and the message of peace. So I did take a lot of inspiration from the story to fold the thousand paper cranes, and I know the reasoning behind it is going to sound extremely childish. But bear with me, please. I am one of those people that believes that um, if you start something out with a positive attitude, it usually finishes with a positive outcome. So positive things happen to positive people, good things happen to good people, and vice versa, bad things, bad people. Like, you, you get my drift. So if I start 2018 out by finishing these thousand paper cranes and I get my wish, then I've started 2018 on a very positive note, on a very high note, because I have achieved something. So hopefully that carries through for the rest of 2018 and it sets the tone for it. I know it does sound quite childish and like I get a wish at the end, which is kind of cute and I'll figure out what the wish is when I get to the end, but I'm gonna be th folding these thousand paper cranes. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the cranes afterwards, but it's something that I'm looking forward to because it means that I can start the year out on a high. So if this is something that you would like to watch or just kind of breeze through or skip through, um, please enjoy. If not, I'll see you next video. Bye. So I had to do a location change because there's like no space in my bedroom to be able to do this. But from Kmart, I picked up about 120 of these like designed papers and they're perfectly square. So I'm just going to quickly instruct how to fold a paper crane just in case you're interested. If you're not, just whiz past whatever part of this video that you want to whiz past. So, square bit of paper. Can have a pattern, cannot have a pattern, whatever you want to do. If it does have a pattern and you want to make the white on the inside, follow these instructions. So, what you want to do is with the colored bit in the middle, you want to fold corner to corner. And you want to do that to both corners. Oh, I've already started this out. Awfully. No, I fixed it. And then just do the same thing to the other side. That way the fold is kind of pointing inwards. And then with the color on the outside and the white in the middle, you want to fold it in half so it's like that rectangle shape rather than the triangle shape that you folded before. Still can't believe that I remember how to do this after like 10 years. So now you've got like this little foldy kind of mess. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold some of the in bits in so that it turns into this like diamond shape. And then just flatten that down so it's easier for you to have like some crisp, crisp lines. So once you got this shape, you're gonna fold the corners in so then you get a bit of a kite shape. But just take this corner and fold it in so it's on like an angle so you're making a kite. I'm not really good at tutorials. If you've seen the makeup tutorial that I did, like, you know that that's not my forte. <laughs> and then do it to the other side as well. And then you get this little shape here. Then what you want to do is just kind of bend the top bit down both ways. That way you make an edge for it because otherwise it's just going to be a pain to do the next step. So next step is you grab the top bit of the kite to expose the white underneath. And then once you do that, you kind of fold it inwards so you get this long diamond and then just crisp up the lines a bit. Do that to the other side as well. There are images on the internet. If I don't really make sense, just Google like origami paper crane and you'll get like step-by-step -step instructions. 
So once you get this, you've got this little bit down the bottom that's kind of like dancing legs. So with the part that's separate down the bottom, you want to fold it up at the middle. So you get that, and then do the same thing the other side. Press down hard because you want to make an edge again. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pull this side out, fold it in against those edges, and fold it back together so you make this point now inwards. And just crisp up the top, and then do the same thing to the other side. So now we've got this weird little crown thingy going on, or hat, then pick one of your sides, whatever side you think works best, fold a little crease in it again, so it's like a beak. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but fold it down so it's like a beak, unfold it, and then press it inwards. So that you've made your little crane head. And then you can fold down your wings. And you have an origami crane. So if that didn't make sense to you, I'm not surprised because my tutorial skills are pretty awful. But if it did make sense to you, huzzah, I somewhat succeeded. So now this is number one. I now have... 999 to go and then I get my wish and I get my positive 2018. The date is the 27th of December so I don't have too many days to go in order to fold a thousand. So let's hope that we can figure this out. the date is the 2nd of January 2018 and we are officially halfway. My hands are so sore. <laughs> I'm starting to get like tingles in my wrist and stuff but it's worth it yes? Yes! Perfect. So if you're wondering what 500 paper cranes looks like it is this trash bag because I ran out of room and then this like little bin thing that my family uses for dirty clothes. So at the moment we're halfway which is good. Um, I don't know if I'm really gonna get this done by the 7th because I do have other things to do like working and earning dosh because I'm broke. Perpetually broke. <laughs> so hopefully I can get it done by then. If not, I'll be getting it done within the first month and I'll still be quite happy with that. I won't be like too mad. So we're just gonna keep going with it and fingers crossed we get it done soonish. So let's keep going. of January 2018 so I didn't make my deadline but I am at 900 cranes so I've only got a hundred no just over just over 900 so I've got 
Ah, I've just got 900. Ah, I've got just over 900 um, cranes, which is great because I'm almost there. I'm like, I'm, I'm the, 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 this is what happens when you fall to 1,000 cranes. Your brain turns to mush. My brain's just not working, but I've got over 900 cranes, and that means that I'm on the home stretch, which is awesome. So that means that by tomorrow, I'll have it all done, and I will have folded. 1,000 and I know that it sounds like the stupidest goal ever but it's actually making me like really really happy so I'm quite proud of myself a little bit chuffed if you're wondering what over 900 cranes looks like though oh my god it's a lot my family is kind of annoyed with how much paper is around the house and I'm very sorry but thank you for supporting me through this endeavor so over 900 looks like three trash bags full of 300 each. I understand that like 300 is a very stupid number when it comes to bagging up a thousand because it means that there's just going to be a hundred left over, but 300 is all that fits in the bag. So it kind of does make sense. So anyway, I'm not going to be able to fold any more today, but I will be able to fold a lot more tomorrow. So hopefully it's done by then because even though I didn't make the week, it's still within the beginning part of January so I'm still pretty happy with myself I'm pretty still pretty proud of the timeline so keep watching if you're interested if you're bored by now I'm not surprised um thanks for watching anyway ah, let's keep going One crane left and then I'm done and then it's a thousand and I folded oh one more crane and I folded a thousand origami cranes so this is the piece of paper it's like some sort of print of glitter I don't know it looks super pretty so like I was happy with it yes I'm a basic white bitch deal with it so after all of this I had a lot of time to think about like what my wish is gonna be I'm gonna write it on the inside of this and I know I guess it sounds like stupid especially because I forget how to spell it and so oh, I would have spelled it right sick my wish is going to be quite broad in a way my wish is just to be successful and I know that sounds stupid but it doesn't just mean like wealthy or like career-wise successful to me to be successful means like a lot of different things that kind of come together into like one huge like I guess statement that is my life it could mean like success in my health and like finding out the truth behind some of the pain episodes that I get it could be like success in my mental health and finally being able to get over like all of the pits of self-loathing that I find myself in it could mean success in like all of my relationships whether they're romantic and intimate or they're just family or like their friendships it could just mean like success in that it could just mean success in i guess being happy <laughs> which i which sounds so like so bittersweet in a way but i don't know just feeling just feeling content in life or feeling like satisfied in life is something that i haven't really known like truly and I guess like if I could ever have success in that and success in feeling like at home in my own skin and in my own mind would be like an absolute like dream come true because it's it's those kinds of things where some people do take it for granted this is the last crane <laughs> I folded a thousand of you and I'm gonna call you Barry <laughs> and here's my last crane he is number 1000 and he is my successful adventure in folding a hell of a ton of origami I'm like so weirdly happy like all I've been doing for like the last two weeks is folding origami and now it's like what do I do with my life all of its meaning is gone but um 
I'm actually really proud of myself. Like, I'm weirdly proud of myself. Like, it, it's not a huge accomplishment, but at the same time it is. But now I just have a thousand paper cranes and I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> so if you have any ideas, I would really appreciate it. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for joining me. If you watched the whole entire thing, you're an absolute legend, absolute champion. Thank you for joining me in making a thousand of Barry's brother and sisters and Barry himself. I will see you next video. Yeah, I'll see you next video. Enjoy! Bye! What do I do, Barry? What do I do with my life? What do I do with a thousand of your brothers and sisters? No, I honestly need help. <laughs> I have a thousand of you.